now Tulsi Gabbard, former congresswoman, former 2020 presidential candidate, Fox News contributor. Now, Tulsi, you debated Kamala. The, do you think she actually thinks she's smart and effective? And if so, why? Well, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president. But I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Without a doubt, she believes this. Uh, I can't even begin to analyze why that is the case. Uh, but, but look, you know, she, she has been uh, unqualified to serve as vice president and is not qualified or capable at all for the very real prospect that if Biden wins, uh, she will be president of the United States. That's a fact. Regardless of who's on the top of the ticket as, as the Democrats figure this thing out, whether it's Biden, Harris or Harris, whoever, uh, a president Kamala Harris will be our commander in chief. And I can tell you as a soldier who's deployed to multiple war zones and I can speak for a lot of my brothers and sisters in uniform, that prospect should be terrifying for all Americans. She is incapable and unqualified to be our country's commander in chief which then leads to what I know to be certain. Just as Joe Biden is not calling the shots on our foreign policy. Somebody asked once, you know, would you have liked to have served a third term if you could have? And I say, I, you know, I, I, wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be out front, uh, but if somebody had said, you can uh, sit in your uh, basement in, in your sweats and uh, there's somebody else who's playing the president with a microphone, in, in uh, his or her ear, and, and you can just uh, kind of give suggestions and policy. He's got Tony Blinken and Hillary Clinton and Jake Sullivan and Lloyd mm -hmm. Austin and all of these other people in the deep state administrative state who are not elected, who are actually making these decisions related to our foreign policy, who have pushed us to the brink of multiple wars, Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and closer to the brink of nuclear war than ever before. If it is a President Kamala Harris, a Commander-in-Chief Kamala Harris, it will be the very same, the same deep thing. state making these decisions that have that have done such great harm to our own national security and to our freedom as a country. Yeah.